here's some shocking numbers. More than 80,000 Canadians are diagnosed with skin cancer every year, even though it is one of the most preventable types of cancer. Sunscreen reduces the risk, but some are wondering if the actual sunscreen can do more harm than good. With more on how to protect ourselves, we're joined this morning by Sean Cheery from the Canadian Cancer Society. Welcome to your morning. Thank you for having me. Important and timely information, yes. as uh, more people are spending time outside. A recent study did find that the active ingredients in chemical sunscreens can be absorbed into our bloodstream. This had some people really concerned yeah. that it might be more dangerous to put it on your skin than to leave it off. What do you think? And that was a study from the US. So in Canada, Health Canada sort of regulates all of the products, make sure that they're safe and effective. And what we do know is that uh, no major scientific organization has found any of the ingredients in sunscreen to be cancer causing. But we do know that UV is cancer causing and that about 65% of melanoma cases could be prevented by uh, not having UV exposure. So you still recommend cover up with sunscreen? We do recommend covering up with sunscreen. And we also recommend a whole bunch of behaviors. So sunscreen is one of them. Mm -hmm. The first one is uh, making sure you know the UV index that day. And if it's three or higher, you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself. Okay. You want to seek shade. You want to put on some clothes that's protective. So you'll see UPF sometimes mm -hmm. on clothing, if not something that's tighter knit. And clothing is actually more protective than sunscreen is. So clothing is more protective than sunscreen. Yeah. So it gives you more of a protective factor. So you want to put on clothing. You want to put on a wide brim hat that's giving you some uh, cover. Mm -hmm. And you want to wear sunglasses. What about the belief that you can burn in the shade or that you can get skin damage even in the shade? Well, if, if you're seeing any sun, then you, you can still be getting it or it can reflect. So you want to be under a tree, under a canopy, or under an umbrella. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there are so many products out there. I mean, yeah. you hit the shelves and you can be overwhelmed. Uh, when we're buying sunscreen, what should we be looking for to know that we are actually protective from the cancer-causing rays? Yeah, so you want something that's an SPF 30 or higher. Mm -hmm. You want something that says broad spectrum on it. That protects you against both UVA and UVB rays. Yep. And you want, at this time of year, especially water resistant. Uh, really quickly, the amount is also important. Yeah. You guys say that and people don't often put enough on. Yeah, so for your body, you want about two to three tablespoons. For any areas that aren't covered by clothing, you want about two to three tablespoons. And for your face, you want about a teaspoon for your, your face and your, your ears. The spray ones, do they, do they provide enough coverage? They do, uh, but you, when you're putting it on your face, you want to spray it on your hands first before you put it on your face. You don't want to spray it on your face. See, I do the, like, hold my breath and, and spray, but yeah. you're saying that's not a good idea. You're, be you're better off putting it on your hands. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about skin tones? Does do all skin tones need sunscreen? So, yes, they do. So we know that Caucasians in particular are more at risk for skin cancers, but we know that anybody could get uh, melanoma or a skin cancer. So these recommendations are for all skin types. Yeah, the detection rate is lower in darker skin tones, but the fatality rate is higher. Yes, I've seen studies in the U.S. that say that, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about vitamin D? Is there a amount that we should be in the sun without sunscreen in order to get our full dose? We always say it's safer to get it from dietary sources. So you, a lot of foods are supplemented with D. You see it in, in, in uh, milk and soy beverage and cereals um, at, or supplements. So it's safer to get it from food sources than it is trying to get it from the sun. You mentioned a couple of them, other ways to protect our skin without necessarily having to use sunscreen products from the UV rays. Uh, that would be standing in the shade, covering up with clothes. Covering up with clothes, wearing a hat that has a wide brim, having UV protective sunglasses on is also important, uh, and, and then choosing a sunscreen. Remember, your skin is an organ, right? So it you is. So protect it that way. And then one of the other things is, if you're putting on sunscreen, make sure you do that before you put on other things. So if you're wearing makeup or if you're putting on bug spray, do the sunscreen first. Make it your first layer. Yeah. Sean Cherry, thanks for coming on today. Thank you very much. We will remember this as we head into the weekend. Perfect, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.